They don't stop skating. Puck right in front of the goal, a shot goes off a stick and they score! The Hokies on the board early, one to nothing. And Clayton Brown down in the butterfly, it went off a stick and I don't believe he saw it after that. It's a tough bounce here for Clayton Brown, as you see number 11 there, gets a nice lucky bounce off of the stick, I believe of Blue. And this thing will just flutter over Brown's shoulder as he was expecting it to go probably glove side. Tough bounce. Now it's up to the rest of the team to answer back and see what they can do. You've got Boschman's line out there. That's he'll take the draw. Reminds me of a lot like the Chicago third, where it's black yeah. and they got the cream in the middle. That's right. It looks a lot like that. They should socks are a little bit too funky for me. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the sock. Yeah, you know what? It's a bit of a classic looking jersey with a modern sock. Yeah. Listen to us. We're getting... We're getting made fun of so much at home. <laughs> Kerr now walking in, lets the shot go, scores! <laughs> Ryan! Ryan Kerr brings the LaHaye Ice Center back to life with a quick wrister between the wickets. Gorgeous job by Ryan Kerr. What an absolute beauty. Toe drag around the defender. And then he takes the quick shot, snapping at five hole. That's exactly what you need. It wasn't the most pretty. I need to go through everybody, get to the goalie, deke him out. Couldn't get to it, and back the other way come the Hokies with speed. Another turnover, and both teams here trading turnovers. And a two on one down low, Boschman to Turner. Couldn't get contact with the puck, and they score. Turner shooting it from behind the goal line, off the back of the goaltender and in. For Rick Turner, things are coming easy for him here. Take a look in the corner, throws it out front. And this thing will squeak in off of the skate. There's nothing better when you can get the gift wrap goal right there. And it's not going to come any easier for Rick Turner as he didn't even mean to. Right to Moore and Gel, up to Turner. Turner with it, coming in. Still has it. Dragging it. Fanned on it. Another shot stopped by Detweiler with the pad. A bit of a broken play turned out to be dangerous. Sherry launches a bomb from the point, scores! Well, if your head wasn't ringing in the first, it certainly is now. Three goals, puts the horn going off the hooks here. Shot by Matt Sherry from the point, takes a deflection off the pad in front. Nothing you can really do as a goaltender there. That's a three to one. Good answer by the Flames. Shot it's, there from the awful. point off Turner's stick. Directed wide. Back behind the goal. A couple of Flames battling for it with Bergman. Or pardon me, Veltri rather. I almost go as far as to say as play ice center might be one of the best ice surfaces in Virginia. It's, yeah, it's not the best. There. Shot there, scores! Turner with a blast! Top corner! <laughs> Rick Turner in the slot, pulls the hokey pokey, and he's got number four up on the board. Take a look. So dangerous in the slot. It's just a semi-slap shot. He puts this thing right up in the top corner over the blocker. Very nice job, sir. Kubrak able to get by Morangel, but Morangel filled him into the wall. Back out, Kubrak with a quick shot, scores through the wickets. And the Hokies back within two. He's got two goals on the day. That's one I'm sure that Clayton Brown would like to have yeah. back. He was down, but just didn't have the stick in the right spot. And that's one of those ones like, oops. You could tell he was a little bit frustrated on that one, and that's not the prettiest goal, but nonetheless, it's one to put up on the board. Take another look. Comes out to the slot. Just a little bit of a weak shot to the five hole, and that sometimes that has a lot to do with Blaine Brown hasn't really been tested in the third. You can tell he's a little bit cold just standing there in net. He's kept this high offensive Liberty Flames team. Only four goals in this shot or in this game. 
Veltri ahead. Turner coming in. He's got one man to beat. Still with it. Turner back across. Scores! <laughs> What a play and what a goal. As Lindsay LeBlanc had to just tap it in. Take a look at the hands from Rick Turner here. Pulls it back, so sweet. Right now, is he going to shoot? Is he going to pass? Trigger. Slides it right under the stick. And LeBlanc says, thank you very much, as he just hustles to the far post, and it's right on his stick in the back of the net. It's an easy, wide open net for him. But that's all, and thanks to a great job by Rick Turner. 5-2 Liberty Flames, 13 seconds left in the third. That's pretty much going to wrap this thing up. Back with it. Beethoven Wilson sending it out. Morin Gel going to retreat. Icing. They call it down. And, yep, we're going to have another face-off here with 0.4 seconds They're gonna remaining. They're going to run it. Ah, uh, they just wound her down. Okay, so that does it. Good call. Flames here win by a score of 5-2 to two after... You know, slow start. Yeah, yep. slow start there in the first. Yep. They're able to kind of get the legs going, and the Hokies give them credit for hanging in there, and they were in it to the bitter end, really. Right. This could have been a much closer hockey game if it hadn't been for a couple key saves by Brown in the late stages of the third.